A pleasant good evening here on the Eagles Sports Network. Andrew Rogers, glad to have you alongside here on Flow Sports as Carson Newman and Lee get set to battle it out in an on-conference matchup on this Monday night at McCowan Field. Glad to have everyone alongside as the Flames ranked eighth in the South region according to the United Soccer Coaches rankings. Those are unofficial rankings, but a good Flames team that has seven wins this year and three losses and one tie. Takes on a Carson Newman team that is 4-4-4. Four, four, and four. four wins, four ties, four losses. Below 500 in league play. The Eagles trying to get right against Lee this evening. As both teams get set to take the field. The Flames in their maroon uniforms. White numerals on the front and back of the uniform. Reads Flames across the front of the jersey. Carson Newman in the usual white and gray striped uniforms, gray shorts for Stephen Lyons' team, hoping to get back on track after a 2-2 tie with Catawba on Saturday, a game that came down to the final second, final shot, final play of the game. Thomas DeGraw hit the post, and the two teams played to a 2-2 draw to tie things ultimately on Saturday. As we're underway, the Eagles with the first touch, and we'll pass it along the back line. to open things up. Just above 50 degrees on this Monday night. Certainly one of the cooler nights that Kirsten Newman will play this season. Had some drizzle before the game, but for the most part has cleared away to cloudy skies as we go throughout today's game. Certainly could have some pop-up showers throughout the evening, but it should be a nice and cool evening for these two teams to battle it out for the ninth time ever. Carson Newman and Lee tied last year 2-2. Match that was played in early September this year. These two teams meet in the heart of conference play before heading down the final stretch as ball sent forward and controlled by the goalkeeper for the Flames. It's the redshirt sophomore from Mansfield, Texas, the Dallas Baptist University transfer, Jacob Buchel. Sending one forward. Eagle is going to track it down in the far corner. It's Jonas Friedel making his seventh start of the year. Back at the lineup has missed the past couple of games, but with Dan Coles picking up a fifth yellow card this season on Saturday, it... Gives Friedel his seventh start of his freshman season and his tenth appearance this year. Battle forward in the midfield. The Flames come away with possession. Ball played on sides. It's Navarro crossing in. Here's a header. Simonetti makes the save initially, but it goes into the back of the net. He got a hand on it, but it was headed home. And the Flames strike first. one nothing. All set up by Fabian Navarro in the far corner. Simonetti made a good effort to get a paw on it, but it ricochets into the bottom right corner of the net and the flame strike first. A 
So Carson Newman faces early adversity. We mentioned Friedel getting the start. So a, a change along the back line for Carson Newman, but certainly the Eagles not pleased to concede in the second minute of the game. Ball deflected out here on the near side by Matias Miao Munoz. We'll give Wester a throw in along the near side. Wester makes his 13th start of the year, or 12th start of the year, I should say, in 13 matches. A touch outside the box for Garcia. He'll play it back to one of his center backs, Matias Asims. He flicks one forward. Garcia makes the run in the far corner. He crosses one toward the top of the box, and Paul Smarik is there to clear it away. Another dangerous ball. That time it was... Marcos Garcia, the sophomore from Spain that got behind the defense and crossed one over. Throw in near side for Munoz. He'll actually hand off to one of the captains of the Flames. Long throw in here from Eamon. It's headed around and then cleared by Iridian Williams, one of the goal scorers last time out for Kirsten Newman, clears it away to the feet of Honka. Ball goes near side, Maxime Wester, a ground pass forward to the feet of Harry Whitehead. The fifth year senior goes near side for Dukes. Defended well by the Flames. On this near side, Wester will throw it in. Eagles will concede a goal for the third consecutive game. It's been a good defense for the most part that Stephen Lyons has put out there, but they concede early, the earliest they have all year. Shoving the back here. And Lee will get a free kick. Flames having a pretty good season out of the Gulf South Conference. A group with seven wins, four wins in league play in the top half of the conference. It's a really good Gulf South league. The Flames sitting in fifth place right now. But have some pretty good results and looking to continue their successes at a non-conference match here today or tonight in hopes of continuing that into league play as the Flames head down the stretch of the season. Battle here at center circle. Good initial tackle by McLaughlin. He is one of the top scorers for this team. Iman McLaughlin with five this year. Leads the team in shots and shots on goal this year. Another ball played forward. It bounces once. Hyvenar's in a foot race and Simonetti has to sky one about 15 yards outside the box. It's headed around, still dangerous, and Federico has to slide in to save that ball from getting to a Flames offensive player. It was Navarro along the far side. Navarro assists on Ryan Schutte's goal to get things started for Lee. In the third minute, has Carson Newman down 1-0. Dangerous ground pass that Friedel just has no choice but to send forward. Here's a missed touch along the back line. Whitehead in a foot race. Tries to get around one defender. Falls down. Will play on. He was in a foot race in a battle there with Ruben Dolacy. And Dolacy won it. And the Flames back the other way. Garcia ground pass near side. Munoz on the ball. He turns back, doesn't see anything initially, and he'll play back to David Koch. Flames go back forward. It was Marcos Garcia again running forward on that through ball. And we'll stop the clock here as Carson Newman's got a injured player. It looks like Bart Hyvenar's is shaken up. 
Certainly not a good sign. Remember, Kirsten Newman already down. One center back, Dan Coles, tonight with the five yellow cards forced to sit out. Already down Jacob Lakner for the season with a torn ACL. Ivan Arcel back to his feet seems to be okay. Eagles have Sam Schelling that has played some defense a few times this year. Isaac Paschal is going to replace Hyvenars. So Paschal into the match for Carson Newman. Let's see how the Eagles shift. They're going to move Venice Lawn to a center back role. And Paschal will slide in in Venice Lawn's left back slot. So Venice Lawn, normally an outside backer, will slot in at center back and already an inexperienced Carson Newman defense that's conceded once will now shift Venice Lawn to the center back role. See how he fits in there with Friedel. Wester near side, get a nice touch pass from Ridian Williams. Rester, oh, head of steam. Off the Dukes, good sequence here. Ridian Williams into the near side corner. Stops, one-on-one -on -one with the defender, decides to go back to Dukes. Good initial attack, and that initial attack is a good thing for Curtis and Newman. It pushes back the Flames into their def defensive half for really the first time tonight. Ben Duke sprints forward with the left foot, ground pass. Mitchell Honkup, the junior midfielder, trying to get one forward, and ball was knocked off his feet by Iman McLaughlin, and it's handled easily by Burkle, the keeper for the Flames. This is a lead defense that has been impressive, particularly in its last four matches, four consecutive shutouts. Not allowed to go in four straight games. It matches its best shutout streak since 2019. It began the 2019 season with four straight shutouts. Trying to extend that streak here tonight to five and off to a pretty good start. It's not allowed Carson Newman to really get much forward here in the early going. All played on here. And Friedel works over to clear. One of the captains, Mark Eman, six foot two midfielder, reverses it to the far side with Matias Seams. Balanced Flames attack. Garcia's got four goals. Eman has three. Shuti now has four after his tonight as this ball. Goes out of bounds, goal kick, Curson Newman. Navarro adds to a team high six assists. A mark that also leads the Gulf South. A yeah, very impressive midfielder. Doesn't wow you with his stature at just 5'6", 130, but he certainly makes his presence felt when the Flames are on the attack. Battle at midfield, and the Flames come away with it. Guess who? It's Navarro. It seems to always be around the ball. The junior from Dalton, Georgia. Gets it back here at midfield. Ten minutes in, the Flames with the 1-0 advantage. Third-minute goal. By Ryan Schutte, the difference right now. Ball flicked forward. Nobody made the run for Lee. And Simonetti will dribble the ball to the near side, trying to reverse the side. The Eagles pass on. Eagles present the normal 4-3-3 look. The Flames have a 3-5-2 look. Good sequence here as Pascal sprints across midfield. He's got plenty of space now cut off by Navarro. Ground pass for Ridian Williams. Pass behind Wester. He'll backtrack for a second as he works forward right at the sack logo. Wester will turn back to Ridian Williams. A pair of freshmen working here. Off to Whitehead, back to Wester. Maxine to Ridian. 
Back to Smark, one touch Honkup. Honkup goes far side, Thomas DeGraw. DeGraw tried to cross one in, it was deflected out to the feet of Navarro. Good defensive sequence for the Flames as they work back the other direction. Garcia leaves one off, a sprinting man forward. It's Stein, plays one back. For Schutte, and good job by Karsten Newman to work back into the picture to take it away. Wester versus Smarik, Eagles go far side. An offense that figured things out a little bit against Catawba, trying to get on the board here in the first half. Grapp lead one on. Not a bad ball, but it was defended well by the center back, Ruben Dolisi, who is going to have his hands full with Harry Whitehead in the middle. Player making a run forward here is offsides. It's the goal scorer, Ryan Schutte, offsides. Right idea. Shuti just caught behind the defense. The goal scorer for the Flames on the game's first shot. Saw that in the women's game on Saturday night against number two, Kataba. Selena Yud scored in the fourth minute on the game's first shot. Lee does it tonight against Carson Newman on the game's first shot. Haven't seen Hybenars go back into the game yet. So Pascal stays in that left back spot. Garson Newman's shored things up defensively so far without him out there and Venislan sliding it in at center back. Flames back on the ball in no hurry. A lead team again, 7 3 and 1. And they really come into this match playing some of its best soccer of the year. Four wins in a row. We mentioned the shutout streak of four games. The Flames have outscored opponents 9-0 during this four-game winning streak. Trying to continue that streak here tonight. A pass too far out in front from David Koch. Ends up out of bounds. Gives Kirsten Newman the ball back for now. Lee's had 10 days off after this one, so you think about this dynamic. Carson Newman with one day of rest, matching its shortest turnaround between games, playing Saturday in that 5 o'clock match, the early window against Gataba. It's the one full day and then the late night match here against the Flames, while Lee has had 10 days off since it last played, so a fresh Flames group. Compared to a Carson Newman team that only played 13 guys on Saturday night. But the Eagles will get nine days off before resuming that match with Anderson. So Eagles can pour plenty of effort and energy out here tonight. And we'll have plenty of time to rest back up before returning to McCowan Field on October 25th. Good ball here that Venezlan gets to first and heads away for a lead throw. Eagles win the throw. Anka back on possession, leaves it off for Ridian Williams. Eagles in non-conference action this year, 2-1-1. One one. Pair of wins. Pass was behind Whitehead, and the Flames take it back. Good interception, though, by Smarik. Eagles now look to possess. Two wins in non-conference for Carson Newman, one against a Gulf South Conference opponent. That was a 2-0 victory in the season opener against West Alabama, neutral site win for Stephen Lyons' team. They scored twice in the first few minutes of the second half to defeat West Alabama 2-0. Lost, a one, lost one nothing to Spring Hill and defeated Young Harris 4-1. to one. Back on September 6th, the home opener for the Eagles. Venice Lon comes up to intercept it. The Flames 
Win possession back though. Good ball played on here. Navarro was the one sprinting onto it, but the flag comes up from our far side official for offsides. Kadeem Sabara is our head official. Gunwan Park is one of the line judges with Patrick Lama the other. For this non-conference affair, the Eagles unbeaten at home this year. Trying to stay unbeaten in home matches. Trail 1-0 now, but back on the attack. Mitch Honkup, through ball. Whitehead, a shot. It's saved by Burkle. And it's going to go to this near side corner. It's stay in bounds. Whitehead with a great look. Burkle a better save. Cross sent in. Burkle there makes the diving effort. Coming outside of his six-yard box. Well, excellent sequence. Mitchell Honkup with a great ball, and you see Whitehead's shot. Right to Burkle, who makes a nice save, his first of the night. The keeper has only allowed one goal this year. He's been really good since taking over as the full-time keeper for the Flames. Navarro back on the attack, far side. Working in that far corner. And they'll play it back to Mark Eamon. Ground pass over to David Koch. An intensity here from Carson Newman. Wester went after it. Williams, Gideon Williams went for the ball and commits a foul. Pressure here from Carson Newman forces the flame defender to go forward. Dukes was right there to control, but too heavy of a touch. So out of bounds it goes. Flames back on possession. Eagles lead or trail the all-time series 4-2 to 2. This is the ninth time ever these two teams meet a series that resumed back in 2019 after. Previously not having played since 1991. Eagles fell 1-0 in that 2019 meeting. In fact, you have to go back to 1991 for the last time Carson Newman has defeated the Flames. On, 1-2-0 in Cleveland. Its only home win in the series was a 4-3 win in 1988. Ball flicked forward and played out by Coke. If Carson Newman a free kick, Simonetti pressured and has to boot it up into the air. It bounces once, pinballs around. Williams in a battle, takes down a player and commits a foul. Certainly this match will mean a little bit more for the Flames. I mentioned their eighth ranking in the region rankings according to the United Soccer Coaches poll. Again, not an official ranking, but gives you an idea of where teams stand, especially as you work into October. So this one means more for the Flames. You don't want to drop one to Carson Newman. It could hurt this team's postseason resume. The top to eight teams making it from each region. According to the United Soccer Coaches poll, Flames would just sneak in in that eighth spot if the season ended today. Pass back to the keeper. Burkle's 15 yards outside the box. Go back forward. Header down to Navarro. He gets back to the feet of Shuti. Through ball, Simonetti with a nice sliding effort with Marcos Garcia sprinting forward. Foul on the Flames. Hey, 
Carson Newman goes back for the free kick as we approach the halfway point of the opening half. Here's a turnover. Venice Lon, nice tackle to recover. Pascal will backtrack. Good interception that time by Noam Stein. He read it perfectly from his right back spot on that far side on what almost was a costly error by Carson Newman. Whitehead ground pass for Maxime Wester. Wester sprints forward, sends it on Whitehead, flicks it over top of the defense, recovering is Dolacy. Eagles look to control only one shot, only three total shots in this match. One has found the back of the net. Can Carson Newman find an equalizer in the first 45 minutes? Well, headed back toward the top of the box. On Cup controls a pass off for Smarik. Wester sprints into the picture to gain the ball. Eagles forced to go back to Simonetti. Whitehead sprinting forward. The ball bounces right on the white line and into the midst of Burkle. You know, Carson Newman this year has not had the same consecutive result this season. Eagles, four wins, four losses, four ties, but it has never had multiple losses, multiple wins, or multiple ties in a row. Eagles tied last time out, so based on how Carson Newman's season has gone, it's either going to be a win or a loss tonight. Right now it's Lee one nothing with 22 minutes and counting left in the opening half. Munoz tried to leave one off for Navarro. It was just in front of him, so McLaughlin treks back to field. Good tackle by Maxime Wester. He avoids one as well. The game possession back for Curtis and Newman. Whitehead has Carson Newman's only shot of the match. And Ridian Williams is the one making the run here. Works his way up the near side in a battle and a tackle made along the near sideline by Mark Eman. He takes down Williams, and so Carson Newman will get a free kick from this near side. It will come in from an interesting angle. It won't serve as a corner, but can certainly play as a corner kick here. It'll be Ben Dukes to stand over it. Thomas DeGras stands left of the ball as well. Looks like Navarro is the one man that will stand in front of this cross. Only 5-6. See who takes it for Carson Newman. DeGraw approaches it. He'll swing it in with his right foot back post. No one's able to get ahead on it. And the ball will roll all the way across the sideline on the far side. Out of bounds off DeGraw's initial free kick take. Nobody touched it. Pasco gives it back, and the Flames sprinting forward. Marcos Garcia, ground pass for Navarro. He was in the box now, dances outside of it in the far corner. Pasco battling one-on-one. -on -one. He gets help from a couple of teammates to pin Navarro in that corner, and it's knocked, off, knocked out of bounds. Navarro will leave it off for McLaughlin to take. The midfielder will attempt a long throw in here. Four flames are standing in the box for this long throw. It's a poor throw, barely got into the box. And Whitehead just boots it on forward. 
Navarro, far corner, back on the ball. And let's see, Garcia, I think, was out of bounds. He had his feet out of bounds, and the ball was out of bounds as well. Check that. That was McLaughlin outside and out of bounds. Eagles with the throw to get the possession back. Duke sprints forward. Gain possession back, goes far side, Pascal. Dangerous ball back here, Simonetti will field. Honkup comes up to give Simonetti support. He's still searching for an option, now plays it off to Venice Lawn. Not a lot of openings. Dangerous ball here, Honkup lays it back. Friedel under pressure. Turns on one defender, grounds a pass to Honkup. Eagles work out of that mess in the near side corner and Pascal streaks across midfield. DeGras off Iridian Williams. Williams one touch, top of the box. Pass in, Whitehead, shot. Burkle touched it, but it gets past him. Eagles equalize with 17.35 left in the opening half. Harry Whitehead off a great pass from Meridian Williams. Burkle got his paw on it, but it had too much Whitehead power. 1 1. Meridian Williams has started to make his presence felt. He scored his first career goal on Saturday, and now he has his first career assist on Monday. And the assist goes to Williams, who finds Whitehead, who in his 57th game played, has his 17th career goal in his fourth of the year. He's the team's leader in goals scored, and now Carson Newman, just like that, ties it up. And it came off a sequence where you thought Lee was going to pressure and maybe get a shot off. The Eagles worked out of the initial pressure in their defensive third, and it results in the equalizing goal. Ball booted forward here. Venice line heads it up into the air. As the Flames go back on the attack, it's McLaughlin, the captain. Trying to leave one off. Ends up at the feet of Shuti. He goes down and a foul. Wester displeased. Each team with a pair of shots, each team with a goal. 28th minute goal for Harry Whitehead, playing his fifth season for Stephen Lyons. Free kick taken, Navarro, is he on sides? No, he's off sides. Great sequence, but the Eagles defense forced him off on what nearly was a second league goal. Great ball, easy call though. Honkup plays one forward, DeGraw made the run. Ball headed up near midfield. Pascal tries to reverse field, it ends up at the feet of Munoz. 15.45 and counting. We've seen each team score here in the first half. Ryan Schutte for the Flames in the fourth minute. And Harry Whitehead for Carson Newman in the 27th. Check that 28th minute. McLaughlin takes it away from Honkup. Ball played forward on sides is Stein. Eagles take it away, and DeGraw tries to reverse field right into the middle of the pitch, though. Navarro tackled from behind. Clean tackle by Honkup. And he gets Carson Newman forward now. Honkup over the defender, back to DeGraw. And the Flames defense able to recover 
first goal Lee has allowed in four matches. First time it's allowed a goal in 24 days. After four consecutive shutouts, it's Carson Newman to ruin that streak. RuPaul here, it bounces once. Shooty in a battle. And he pushes Daniel Venislond foul on the Flames. Lester plays one on. Whitehead sprinting forward. Smarik recovers. Trying to split two defenders. It was well defended by Koch near side. Smarik works back into the picture to take it away. Smarik trying to get it back to Dukes. Defended well. Navarro comes out of the pack with possession, and Venezlan commits the foul on Marcos Garcia, and will stop the clock as the official wants to have a word with Venezlan. And now it'll resume. Quick free kick taking there, taken there by the Flames, and results to nothing. Well, we've seen better responses from Stephen Lyons' team. We didn't see that on Wednesday last week against Lincoln Memorial. Here's a chance. Garcia shot. Simonetti save. Wester able to get a foot on it to clear it back forward to Pascal on Marcos Garcia's shot. And the Eagles want a counter. Ready and Williams. Line drive pass near side. Ben Dukes. Dukes working forward. Waits patiently. Cuts left. Ground pass over to DeGraw, one touch, Honkup, Ridian Williams, he's on sides, he works into the box. It's deflected out and the Flames defend the counter well. Good developing sequence. But it falters out for Kirsten Newman. Excellent save by Federico Simonetti on the Marcos Garcia shot. Third Flames shot of this opening half. Both teams have been very selective with their shots, there's been five total shots, and four of them have ended up on goal. These two teams are very patient, possessive with the ball, and looking for the right chance to strike. Tackle from behind, a clean one. Williams wins it back for Carson Newman, and Pascal plays one on DeGras. DeGras spins, sprints forward, and the flag comes up on the near side. To get DeGraw offsides, first time Kirsten Newman's been offsides in this opening half. And we have an injured eagle here near side. Ben Dukes down on the turf right before that free kick was taken. We'll see Nick Karsh check in for Carson Newman to replace Dukes. Karsh not in the starting lineup tonight. He's been dealing with a shin injury. But we'll check in here for the final 1140 for what will be his 68th career game played with the Eagles. Karsh checks in, the free kick taken and sent toward the far corner. Ball played out of bounds. It's off of the Flames. We thought for sure that was off Carson Newman. The goal scorer, Harry Whitehead, will check out. Harry Bagley into the game. Harry for Harry for the final 11 minutes here. Give Whitehead a breather so that he is fresh for the final 45. We've yet to see the Flames make a change. You get a team that it should be pretty fresh. Hasn't played in 10 days. McLaughlin. Trying to get one through far side for Shooty. And it's cleared back toward midfield. Nearly a turnover here. Dole to see. Goes near side. Munoz. 
Munoz working around Karsh, crosses one in, top of the box. No one's there. Shuti works into the picture, shot blocked. Ends back up at the feet of Mark Even. High cross sent in. Shooty heads it toward the top of the box. McLaughlin waits and plays back for Coke. Cross sent in. It's headed toward the far side. Trying to keep it in bounds was Shooty. But he's unable to do so. It goes across the end line for Curtis Newman. Goal kick. Nine forty-five and counting to go in this opening half. One-one the score. Flames scored first. Carson Newman has responded here in this first half to level the score. Williams paces and plays it back to Venice Lund. Friedel making his seventh start under pressure. Eagles nearly turn it away. Williams goes down. Smarik, ground pass, trying to play one on. Bagley sprinting forward. Perkle under pressure, able to clear it away. Ritty and Williams trying to work around two defenders, unable to do so. Navarro around another. And Lee will regroup in its defensive half. Now Harry Whitehead has his 17th career goal with Carson Newman. Fourth this year, second one at home this year. His other two have come away from Mossy Creek. First time he'll score against Lee in his career. Carson Newman tied with Lee last year, 2-2. Jacob Lakner, who's still on the team this year, but out with an injury, scored the first goal for the Eagles. Niels Berman, who graduated, scored with 20 minutes left in the second half to tie that match, a match that ultimately ended in a 2-2 tie. Bagley, a ground pass for Honkup. Honkup goes far side for DeGraw. And now back to Honkup. Eagles will stay patient and send one forward. Pascal. Pascal off to Bagley. Trying to touch one on. Nobody was really there in the middle with him. And it turns into a turnover. Eagles concede the first goal of the match for the sixth time this year. Eagles are 1 in 4 when giving up the first goal. All four losses this year have been when this team gives up the first goal. Dangerous play here. Friedel with a clean tackle. Smarik plays it back for Wester. Nice touch by Karsh. Han go back forward to Karsh. Tripped over the ball. Here's a tackle from behind. And a foul committed by the fifth-year senior, Nick Karsh. Lost possession, worked hard to get back into this play, but commits the foul from behind. So Carson Newman concedes that first goal for the sixth time this year. Record doesn't favor this team when they concede first, but We'll see how things play out as this one goes on. Ball played forward. It's going to end up out of bounds off of Lee. And Kirsten Newman will throw it in. That only win this year when conceding first was actually in Kirsten Newman's home opener against Young Harris. Game that Carson Newman stormed away from Mountain Lions and won four to one. Also, the Eagles' only other non-conference game here at McCowan Field. Maybe the Eagles could do it twice here in 
on conference play. Give up an early goal, but find a way to win. Five and a half to go. Frito clears across midfield. DeGraz out there looking for help. Navarro back into the picture to win possession back. Fabian Navarro always around the ball. Some good tackling here in the midfield. Eagles back with possession. As Pascal dribbles around looking for help, and we'll play back to Venice Lot. Ball played forward. Navarro making a run just outside the box. Works on along the far side. Cross sent in. Here's a shot blocked by Wester. McLaughlin at the top, top of the box. Pressured by Karsh. It's forced all the way out to the far side. Now grounds a pass near side for Koch. Shooty's shot was controlled by Maxime Wester on the line. Here's a ball played forward. Cross sent in. It's deflected out. Whose foot that was off of? It's off of a Carson Newman foot. And the Flames will get the first corner kick of the night. And it comes here in the 42nd minute. As both teams will make a change. Gunthor Gislason will come on for Carson Newman. And Addison Kaya will come in for the Flames. So Kaya comes in for Shuti, who just took that shot. The Flames fifth in the sequence allows Ali to get its first corner kick of the night. Near side corner swung in, headed out of there by Mitch Honkup. Ends up back near side, another ball sent in, knocked out of there. Navarro's out front, double teamed, gets around the double team and plays it back for Munoz. Smarik sprinting forward with space now. Lays it off for the Shawnee State transfer. Thomas DeGraw from distance will cross one in. Munoz heads it away. And now the Flames go back on the attack. Navarro full head of steam forward. Watches Friedel clear it off the line. Two forty-five and counting. Carson Newman has battled back in this opening half. Tie the match back at one as the official will have the Flames back up a little bit prior to this throw in. These two teams have several common opponents. Carson Newman beat West Alabama, another Gulf South team. Lee tied West Al 1-1. Lee also defeated Spring Hill 2-0, a team Carson Newman lost 2-1-0. Player goes down, and we've got a foul. And a stoppage of the clock with 2.02 left. And the Flames are going to get a free kick just outside the box. So a free kick here just outside the box for the Flames. Just a couple of yards. So they line this one up. Ball swung in, back post. It was a shot that Simonetti escorts out. Off the foot of Mark Eamon. Him and David Koch were standing there. It's Eamon to take the shot. And he misses wide right of the post. Eagles trying to work back forward. Smarik missed touch, but it ends up with Pascal who sprints forward. Look at Isaac Pascal. Split two defenders. Get inside the box. Pascal a shot blocked. And ricochets back out to DeGraw. DeGraw lifts one in. Bagley there. And it's punched out by Burkle. 
Great stuff from Carson Newman. 70 seconds left in this opening half, and the Eagles looking for one last chance. After Lee get, got its first corner just minutes ago, the Eagles get their first here in the final minute. It'll be Thomas DeGrada swinging in from the near side corner. It's a low liner that headed out toward the top of the box to the feet of Pascal. A touch off Gisleason trying to tackle to keep it in play. DeGrada works back into the picture. Nice tackle by Smarik. Eagles back with it. Smarik trying to play one on for Bagley, who wasn't ready for it, and that will probably end the opening half. Burkle's free kick will wrap up the opening half. Ryan Shuti with a fourth-minute goal. And Harry Whitehead with a 28th-minute goal has the score 1-1 at the break. The flame strike first. Carson Newman gets the equalizer. And we're back where we started at halftime here from McCowan Field. Halftime score 1-1. Take a break for halftime and talk to you in 15 minutes after our break here on the Eagles Sports Network.
All right, the second half about to get underway. Kirsten Newman and Lee Denlock down a goal apiece after the first 45 minutes. The Eagles trying to get back into the win column while the Flames are trying to continue a four-game winning streak. Andrew Rogers, glad to have you back alongside here on the Eagles Sports Network on Flow Sports. First of three consecutive games to start the week. Have Carson Newman volleyball tomorrow evening, and then women's team, women's soccer, will take the field on Wednesday at 5 o'clock for a match with Bluefield State, a non conference game for Simon Duffy's team. Flames kick it off, and we're underway in the second half. See which one of these teams can maybe find the go ahead goal on this Monday night. Flames start with possession, near side cross toward the box, headed out of there by Jonas Friedel. We have not seen Bart Hyvenar since he was helped off the field. He walked out on his own power. But we've seen Daniel Venislan slide into a center back role and Isaac Pascal slot in at left back since the Hyvenar's injury. Boot here forward, Friedel clears toward the midline. Oak sends one forward. Add it up. By Shuti. Friedel. To Han Cup and now Wester. Eagles try to possess for the first time in this second half. On a chilly Monday night in Mossy Creek. Probably the coldest team or coldest game these two teams will play or have played so far this year. We're seeing the temperatures drop below 50 degrees. On a night that saw these two teams in pregame deal with some rain. Rain went away as these two teams got ready to kick things off. And it's just been chilly ever since. Beautiful ball forward here. DeGraw is on size running forward. He's tackled down. It's a clean tackle. Perfect tackle by Matias seems on DeGraw, who was sprinting forward with space. And now Navarro near side. Nice turn on Pascal to reset. Eagles want the flag to go up, and it will from the near side official. They get Ryan Shuti again offside. He's the goal scorer for the Flames. Rocking those pink cleats. Venice Lon goes far side for Wester. Maxime has a goal this year. It's been a key cog in this Kirsten Newman lineup. Has only missed one match. That was the match at Newberry. Eagles survived without him. But has not left the pitch in all other 12 matches that he's played in. On Cup turns, shoots from distance, and Burkle with a jumping save as Han Cup rocketed a ball. Off the keeper's hand, an incredible save by Jacob Burkle. Ron Cup leases one toward goal. And nearly got Carson Newman on the board. Here in the second half to take the lead, they'll set up a second corner. DeGraw. It deflects a couple of times. Whitehead slow to work back into the picture there. He may have taken an elbow or maybe the ball ricocheted off his head. See, tries to shake things up or shake things down as he works back on sides. He goes back with the ball along the back line. Seen Carson Newman counter multiple times tonight, and that's when it's been at its best. Karsh throw in forward, Whitehead chests it down. Beautiful throw, or beautiful through ball to Karsh. Karsh crosses it in. It's right to David Koch, who clears. Dennis Law, a touch, and will play it back for Simonetti. Just over four minutes into this second half. Carson and Lee walked at a goal. 
Basco into the midfield to Han Cup, who just fired his first shot of the night. That forced Jacob Burkle to make his second save of the night. Friedel sprints across midfield, grounds a pass to Whitehead. Now off Pascal. Pascal approaching the box, turns back for DeGras. Thomas DeGras trying to split two defenders with a pass, able to recover. Leaves it off Whitehead. Not well defended. Eagles take it back though. DeGras, top of the box, shot off the post. Thomas DeGras loves hitting the post. He did it on Saturday against Catawba in the final seconds on a free kick and nearly had another one. He hits off the post again. This is the right one. Same attacking goal, too. He hit the left post on Saturday against Catawba and it went out of bounds. Now he hits the right post and it goes out of bounds. Maybe one of these times he'll Getting lucky enough to see the ball hit the post and go in the back of the net. Foul here on Carson Newman, and Flames take the quick free kick. We've seen both of these teams really put together good sequences, and they've, for the most part, I think, split possession. You can maybe teeter the advantage one way or the other, and I would not be surprised. It's been a pretty balanced and well-played match from both sides and has seen really both teams get equal opportunity six to five shots Lee has the slim advantage Eman turns on Ridian Williams Williams your side for Fabian Navarro Navarro gets it back trying to keep it in bounds along the end line he does not though it's out of bounds Carson Newman, a goal kick. Mentioned this match means a little bit more for the Flames. Regionally ranked according to the United Soccer Coaches Regions rankings. They're not official region rankings, but pretty good idea of where the Flames stand and they're a team that is going to battle for an at-large bid to make the NCAA tournament should they not get the automatic bid dangerous pass here that Williams is able to control Whitehead tries to split two he's in a holding match and foul is on the Flames Friedel sprints forward this one means maybe more for the Flames in terms of where they stand heading into the postseason Eagles with four wins, four losses, four ties. Probably will not see an at-large bid, but if this team makes a run, then the South Atlantic Conference Tournament would find themselves in the NCAA Tournament. This ball's headed out of bounds by the Flames. And Kirsten Newman will get its third corner, second of the half. At this point in the year for Kirsten Newman, it's about gaining momentum. Trying to propel this team toward a solid finish in 2023. DeGraw will raise both hands for Carson Newman's third corner kick of the night. Burkle taps it toward the top of the box and it's cleared toward midfield by Schutte. Far corner, Karsh crossed it in and yet again, the Flames kick it across the end line. This time it was Munoz. And for the third time of the half and fourth time tonight, Carson Newman lines up a goal or a corner kick. DeGras has taken all four corners. He's the team's leader in assists with four. Maybe trying to add to his tally right here. High corner kick, it floats in there. Whitehead headed it initially. Still loose, and it's knocked out of the box to the feet of Fabian Navarro. Ridian Williams near side off to Pascal. He's dribbling by Isaac to get to the near side. Did he lose it out? He did. He was pressured by 
Iman McLaughlin. That's what forced Pascal for the missed touch to lose it out of bounds. Gives the Flames back on the attack. McLaughlin near side back. You know, battle with Pascal. Got around him. A shot blocked off of Daniel Venice Lund and out of bounds. Good job by Venice Lund. Better move here initially by McLaughlin to get space. And this line able to block that shot attempt. And now McLaughlin will take the long throw in from this near side. The sprinting start and a high throw in into the box. Headed up into the air. Navarro sends it back near side. It's crossed in and Simonetti sprints out of his six yard box to field. Well, just after Carson Newman had a pair of corner kicks, Lee got right on the attack. Threatened but comes up empty. And his long near side pass off to Isaac Pascal, the sophomore in his second season with the Eagles. Plays it off to Han Cup. Friedel. Trying to find Karsh. She was collided with David Koch. Oh, it's going to go out of bounds. Far corner throw for the Flames. He has only tied one match this year. It was a 1-1 tie on September 15th with West Alabama. Carson Newman has four ties. These two teams deadlocked at one right now. Stein crosses midfield. Goes back to the far side. Here's a cross into the box. Pascal heads away. Rudy and Williams knocked down and a foul. Flames disagree. But the freshman goes down and Eagles will regroup with a free kick. Think about this Carson Newman roster again heading into the season. Only had a few key returners. Isaac Pascal were a returner. Obviously, the forwards, Harry Whitehead, Nick Karsh returning. Paul Smorick was a returner, although he didn't play last year with an injury. Sat out all of his freshman year and what is officially his first year, but a lot of new faces out there mixed in with some transfers. Obviously, Jacob Lakner, another key returner, out for the year with an injury. It's a group still trying to figure things out, maybe, and if they mesh at the right time, can certainly make a run. We've seen... This team put up some pretty good results. Scoreless tie with Auburn Montgomery in a non-conference match against the Tigers on September 13th. That Auburn Montgomery team is top 15 in the country and still unbeaten. Eagles have some pretty good results against quality opponents. Just haven't got key victories in games here as of late. Began the month with a scoreless tie with Lenore Ryan, a game the Eagles played with an advantage for over 70 minutes of the match. Could not find the game winner against the Bears. Pascal cross in. It's headed out of bounds. And once again, Carson Newman's going to get another corner. Be the fifth one of the night. And obviously the 2-2 tie with Catawba last Saturday, or this past Saturday. Those two games certainly ones Carson Newman would like to have back, thinking maybe they could have secured three points. And in a pretty loaded South Atlanta conference, it's a huge difference to not get three and only get one. The Graz cross headed toward the bo six-yard box and escapes out of there without a shot attempt. Whitehead worked back over and commits the foul. Trying to compete, keep the possession alive. And he fouled Noam Stein. Dangerous ball that did not get cleared by Lee.
And then Whitehead commits the foul after the play, or after that, after that initial cross. And Burkle will clear. This ball goes off shooty and out of bounds. Goal kick, Kirsten Newman. As we approach 15 minutes into this second half. Certainly those two games, the LR game, the Katama game, two Carson Newman would like to would like to have gotten a result out of. A 2-2 tie against Mars Hill toward the end of September. Another one where the Eagles certainly could have had. Led 2-0, gave up two more goals, played to a tie with the Lions. Those are really the three matches that stick out in league play. There's games that the Eagles tied and easily could have gained three points. So in the grand scheme of things, Carson Newman lost six points because it only gained three from those matches. Far side sprinting forward, Wester a touch forward. Ridian Williams with space in front of the box. Ridian Williams from distance, and Burkle leaps up with his right hand to make the save. Nobody picked up the freshman, Ridian Williams, who already has an assist in this one. Nearly got his first goal of the night. So he sprinted forward and flicked a shot toward goal that forced Burgle to make another nice save. Third save for Burkle, and it sets up Carson Newman's sixth corner kick of the night. Back post to Gra, sent it in, and Burkle leaps up to handle. Eagles continue to get some pretty good looks tonight. Four shots on goal in six attempts total. Near side ball, boots up into the air. Pascal heads it. Smarik. Leaves it off Whitehead, who turns. Left it in space for his fellow fifth-year senior, Karsh. Can't get to it first. It was Munoz to track it down, and then Burkle clears. Well, certainly after that early goal by Schutte, Carson Newman has defended well here. That goal came in the third minute of the match. Since then, Carson Newman's done pretty well. Advantage played here as Williams is down. Official plays on with Carson Newman on the ball, and Pascal gives it away after advantage and clear. Ball moves high into the air. Pascal boots it on. Maybe get a chance here. Marcos Garcia into the box, forces Frito to clear it out of there. Garcia may be shaken up in the box. Jonas Friedel works back in to flick it away from Garcia, and Lee will get a second corner. These two teams played the first 40-plus minutes, roughly, without a corner, but now we've seen eat in the next 20-plus minutes or so, and we'll stop the clock with 27.02 left with Garcia shaking up near the end line as Hannah Grace Davis, the athletic trainer, out to check on Garcia. Garcia is still down. Toward the end line with 27.02 left in this second half on a chilly night in Jefferson City, Tennessee. Blankets are out. For this chilly evening, taking in some non-conference soccer action. Garcia limps off the field here on the end line. Not putting a whole lot of weight. 
I believe, on his right leg. Not a good sign for Garcia in the Flames. He's got four goals this year. Mark Eamon will swing this corner kick in. It's a high ball, back post, headed down, still loose, shoot to your header. And we've got offsides on the Flames. Eagles escape the corner kick with no damage done. On Cup, sprints out of there, leaves it off for Thomas DeGras. The Eagles have numbers and space forward. DeGras stops his momentum for now. Ground pass forward. Ridian Williams runs over it. Maxime Wester outside the box. Wester, Burkle save. It's loose and cleared. Maxime Wester scored his first career goal from a similar spot, nearly had his second. Eagles continue to threaten. They now match the shot total for the Flames at seven. DeGras near corner. Cross sent in. Touched on. Williams missed it, though. Wester goes and gets it far side. Dances into the box. Crosses one in off a defender and out of bounds. And here's Carson Newman's seventh corner. Ridian Williams probably kicking himself right now. He had a great chance to produce the go-ahead goal on that DeGraw cross, but he just did not get his foot on it. He was in the right spot. And this sequence will result in a seventh corner kick. Short pass off. Smorick swings it in. It's loose. It bounces a couple of times. Whitehead boots it up into the air. Honkup takes a player down. Pascal will boot it on in, and Burkle controls. Another dangerous chance that Lee escapes from here in this second half. The Eagles continue to pound goal with some really good chances. Can the Flames answer with a chance? Friedel with a shove. No call. Clean play on the new forward into the game, Jordan Duran. He's replacing Garcia, who was shaken up. Durant now forward is making the run. Oh, it was defended well by Friedel. Eagles win the ball back. And they work across midfield. Karsh to Whitehead trying to find Williams. It was deflected off the center back's shin, Ryan, or Ruben Dolisi. NCN's threat for now, but they have it back. And a foul. Ball back to the feet of Federico Simonetti at the top of the box. Rounds a pass to Smarik, who's pressured, and he loses it. Off to Durant, Shuti, dribbles into the box, stops. Met by three defenders who take the ball off his feet, and Pascal kept, keeps it in. Round pass, far side. Ball into the box, Shuti. Can't get to it. Halfway through this second half, change here for, for Lee as Addison Kaya, or Kaya back in. And he'll replace Shuti. Simonetti with the goal kick that crosses midfield. Whitehead trying to get it off to DeGraw, who fell down trying to make the touch. Ball ends up over the head of Venice Lund, and McLaughlin was offside. That could have been dangerous. Simonetti has words for McLaughlin. There's a shove. Federico having none of what McLaughlin was having. First time we've seen these two teams get into it a little bit. Doesn't result in much, but... 
Simonetti was not pleased with what McLaughlin maybe said as he held the ball away from Simonetti. Eagles pass it around here, defensive half, Pascal for DeGraw. DeGraw the sack logo, ground pass to Whitehead. Very Whitehead near side off for Smarik. Paul Smarik leaves it back off for Whitehead. Whitehead across, it's blocked, out of bounds, and we'll get an eighth corner. DeGraw will line up this cross with 21 minutes remaining in the contest. Another corner. Burkle punches it out there. Smarik back into the box. Karsh was there. Honkup knocks it in there. It's cleared away. Good job by Simonetti to Touch that ball down. It could have been dangerous. Nearly a bad pass here, and it's out of bounds. Maybe. Yep, it is off. Carson Newman. Friedel trying to save it across the sideline. Was unable to do so, and the Flames look to work forward. Smorick. Tried to split two, lost it. Still battles for it. The Flames get it back. Ball toward the top of the box. Pascal chests it away. And Honkup escapes the pack with possession and finds Smarik. Smarik off for Whitehead. Whitehead into the box. A turn. A touch back for DeGraw. DeGraw cross. It's deflected. Nobody was there back post. And the Flames track it down. When will maybe frustration set in for Carson Newman? It's built some really good chances, but still sees this match square at a goal. Ben Duke's far side leaves it off. Far corner, Nick Karsh. Pressure here in the far corner. Now it forces Coke to clear. Eagles work back into defensive form. The Flames have only had two shots in the second half. A half dominated by Carson Newman, mostly forward. We'll check that, just one shot in this second half now for Lee. The McLaughlin blocked shot that Venezlan got in the way of. Lee has struggled to get offensive chances here in the half as Venezlan can't escort this ball out. Durant kept it in for now, and it's deflected out. Goal kick, Carson Newman. And we'll stop the clock with 18-12 left, and I think Durant is the one shaken up out of bounds. Second attacking player we've seen fall down, and... Go down, out of bounds. And Hannah Grace Davis back to work for the Flames. She'll trot over there to check on Jordan Durant. And this line wants to continue play here. The player gets attended to out of bounds.
Marcos Garcia back into the match, so he is good to go. He'll replace Durant. And the clock continues. We approach the 18-minute mark in a 1-1 game. Lee's only had two shots in the last 30 minutes of game time. Ridian Williams works forward, trying to play it off for DeGrand. It versus Burkle to clear near side. This ball bounces shy of midfield. Munoz a touchdown. Navarro, who has been quiet in the second half. He was all over the ball in the opening half. Not so much here in the second half. Got a touch there. Conca, good find. Smorik. DeGraw, distant shot. Burkle makes a leaping effort. And punts it away. Good run here. Advantage played. McLaughlin sprinting forward. Iman and McLaughlin. Simonetti got a hand on it. And Lee will get a third corner kick or a fourth corner here in the match. McLaughlin, the team's top goal scorer, got space as he worked into the box. But a nice diving effort. Simonetti gets his fingertips on it to knock it out of there for his second save of the night. And with 16 and a half to go, the Flames get the fourth corner. It'll be Mark Eamon to take. Tall righty sends it in. Simonetti leaps up and makes the catch. Well done as he's fouled. Eagles not too pleased that Simonetti had to take such a hit. It was the defender, Matias Seams, that was there to try to make the leaping header, but crashed right into Kirsten Newman's keeper. Remember, Simonetti has missed some time this year with that leg injury. Okay, though, as Karsh races up the far side and lost it out of bounds, battling with David Koch on the far side of the pitch. First time we're going to see Farid Shuti. Brother of Ryan. So Farid into the match with 15 minutes to go. in a 1 1 game between Lee and Kirsten Newman, meeting for the ninth time ever. Eagles trying to get back in the win column. We've said how Carson Newman has not had the same result in consecutive games this year. If that would end tonight, it would be because this match stays tied at one. The Eagles tying on Saturday night against Catawba 1-1, or 2-2. All played forward, pressure. Forces a pass back into the middle. McLaughlin has that pass cut off by Pascal. Isaac Pascal, a left footed pass with Smart crossing midfield. Paul stops right before going out of bounds. In a battle here with McLaughlin, turns around. The striker goes into the corner for his sophomore teammate, Pascal, who crosses it in. Nobody there. And the Flames defend well again. We outshot Carson Newman in the opening half, but it's been Carson Newman's offense with a little bit of an edge in the second half, despite not scoring. As you hear both coaching staffs asking for a solid 14 minutes or so here. See if one of these two teams can get a win out of this match. 
Ball out of bounds. Carson Newman throw. Whitehead thought about taking it. We'll leave it off. Eagles were tied with the team at halftime for the sixth time this year. Carson Newman's 2 1. And two, when tied with an opponent this year at the break. So pretty split on what that end result ends up being. Just the one loss when tied at the break. Pair of wins, pair of losses as well. Scoring two goals is usually a pretty Good recipe for success for the Eagles. When doing it this year, they're 3-0 and 2. Turnover here, though. Touch. Shot blocked by Smart. He got in the way of the Marcos Garcia shot. Ball returned back, and Simonetti watches it go out. On a wonderful strike from Mark Eman. It goes out. Goal kick Carson Newman. So two shots for Lee after they only had one in the first 33 minutes of this half. They compile two in 15 seconds. But are still blanked on the scoreboard here in the second half. Simonetti boots one forward. Ball bounces just shy of midfield. They go far side and this is just an errant pass that Ends up out of bounds. Not a great delivery by the senior midfielder, Mark Eman. German really direct that pass to anybody in general. This ball was out of bounds. Give Lee a throw in. Eagles with six of its nine shots on goal in this one. Great efficiency, some really good keeping from Jacob. Burkle on some wonderful strikes by Carson Newman as well. It's not as if the Eagles have just sent these lazy shots toward goal. They have threatened and had some real opportunities, but Burkle has made some good saves. Flames patient, 10 and a half to go. Dolisi with it, booted forward, Shuti, lost it, DeGras, pressured, gets it off, Pascal, Eagles back with the possession. We know with this Eagle offense, if you were with us on Saturday, went down to the final seconds, DeGras forward to Whitehead, they draw the foul. On the Indians, turns out to be a red card. The free kick with three seconds missed left of the post by Thomas DeGraw. A team that it really does not take a whole lot of time to get forward and a chance, but certainly running out of time with nine and a half to go. And a match tied at one. Saw the Flames score in the third minute. Ryan Schutte off an assist from Fabian Navarro. Eagles answered in the 28th minute. Ridian Williams finds Harry Whitehead, fourth goal for Whitehead this year, 17th of his career. Foul from behind on Honkup as McLaughlin went to take a shot. And we'll stop the clock with 9-11 to go. And Mitchell Honkup is shown yellow. Second booking of the night, and Lee is going to get a good chance here to Get a look at goal, trying to find the go-ahead one. You've got David Koch and Mark Eman standing over the ball. Koch to the right, Eman to the left. Flames will send everyone mostly forward. They've got two defenders just across midfield. 
ready for the counter. It'll be Eamon to send it in. A ground shot that goes just wide of the post. Simonetti made the diving effort, realized it was going to go outside the post, and so he escorted it out. And the clock continues to roll with nine minutes and counting left in this one. Does Lee or Carson Newman have a goal in them here in the final minutes to break this tie? Ball headed out of bounds, throw in. Carson Newman. Pass go off to Han Cup forward. Williams missed touch. Whitehead's there to recover, though. Go near corner. DeGraw. Still on it. He wants to shoot from distance. Wide left. Maybe more of a frustration shot from DeGraw. Eagles have had some chances. He's hit the post. Now the last two games. He fires his third shot of the night wide. Team leader in shots now with three. How many more chances do we have between these two teams? Ron Cup heads it forward, bounces once. Right to the flame defender. DeGraw, full head of steam. Forces a quick pass by Burkle. Mentioned the late life Carson been showed against Katabi. Here's a foul on Lee. Eagles free kick with 7.20 and counting. Eagles' latest goal in a game this year was Maxime Wester with 19 seconds left against Emory and Henry. Eagles had the game won. Up 2 nothing. Wester scored with 19 ticks to go to make it 3 nothing. And Carson Newman scored three times this year in the final 12 minutes. Shooty leaves it off McLaughlin. Fabian Shooty trying to run onto it in the far corner. Plays it back. Here's the cross into the box. Fenislan steps up to head it away. Eamon works back to control. Lee has certainly settled in after only one shot in the first 20 minutes of this half. The Flames have started to figure things out offensively to control possession. Gras heads it up. Ridian Williams, a back touch, clever touch to Gras. Now to Whitehead. On Cup, double teamed and lost it. Navarro chips one on. Marcos Garcia approaching the box. Turns middle. Off to Eamon. Eamon goes far corner. Munoz swings it in. Munoz. Oh, a great chance. McLaughlin thought he was held by Friedel. Flames coaching staff in bench asking for a PK and won't get it. It was Garcia at the back post that had that last chance. McLaughlin thought he was held here. But ultimately, no call is made. And we'll play on. 5-10 and counting. Williams, high boot forward. Whitehead sprinting forward. It's going to be cleared out of bounds. Good defending to backtrack by Dolacy. 4.45 and counting. Whitehead, Karsh. Into the box. Foul on Karsh. Lost the ball, tried to work back into the picture and win the ball back. And yellow card, I think, to a flame. I think they're going to get Marcos, or check that. No, I'm Stein. I think that said something after the play. He wanted Karsh to maybe get the card, and Stein had a word or two. 
for Kadeem Sabara. And so, Stein shown the yellow, and Lee works back forward. Good foot there from Pascal. Powerful one as Hanka boots it forward. Whitehead sprinting on and forces the ball to be cleared again by Dolisi. DeGras, quick throw in. Karsh trying to boot it on for Whitehead, who was not ready for it. Final four minutes, 1-1. One, one. We've been stuck in a 1-1 one, one tally since Whitehead's goal in the 27th minute, or 28th minute. On Ridian Williams' first career assist. Near side touch. Stein gives it away. Bad pass. Freshman Williams there. Spins around a defender. Leaves it off Smarik. Smarik has to play it back to Simonetti as four maroon jerseys surrounded him. Jump early. Gregory, you got to jump early. Dolisi ground pass, far side for David Koch. So we wind down toward three minutes, turnover here. Friedel crosses midfield. He wants to work forward. Works between two defenders. And now the Eagles down a center back. McLaughlin works forward, leaves it off. Fabian Navarro leaves it on. McLaughlin, shot wide left. Ema McLaughlin. On a beautiful find from Fabian Navarro, McLaughlin stayed on sides and just misses wide left. And the way the Flames offensively have started to get things rolling again here and create some quality chances, Carson Newman has slowed it down a little. Maybe content with winding this clock down and getting out of here with a tie and rather lose this one the way the second half has shifted. McLaughlin leaves it off. Navarro chips it over the bar and out of play. Eagles will fire another goal kick here. Two minutes to go here in this non-conference match. The final non-conference match of the year for Carson Newman. Leaping over the back is Dolacy of Williams, or Whitehead, and Eagles We'll take the free kick. Pascal will drop it. He's going to be told by the official to back it up 10 yards. Menis Lond leaves it off for Pascal. Good battle there. Pascal wins it. Stays on the ball. Plays one on. Nobody running on. Eagles wanted maybe a foul. Well defended though by Garcia, and with 75 seconds to go, maybe it doesn't look like either of these two, these two teams are going to get a final chance to strike. <laughs> 60 seconds to go. Burkle will send this goal kick forward. It's a high goal kick that Whitehead heads forward and it's booted back forward. Tennis Lawn goes over the top. Foul on Lee will stop the clock with 47 seconds to go as Marcos Garcia is holding his head. Tennis Lawn gets a talking to by the official Kadim Sabara and maybe Lee's last hope here. Mark Eamon. Gets it left off for him. He boots it in. Simonetti's right there. We've seen the Eagles counter well like Saturday. They have late life here. On Cup. Sees this deflected. Lee keeps it in play. And they clear it. 30 seconds. And winding. Han Cup. Throw in. Knocked back out there toward midfield. Smarik into the box. Nobody there. Burkle will control. 15 seconds and counting. Lee maybe once last chance. This ball is going to be touched. Simonetti's right there. He'll clear it. And Carson Newman and Lee play to a 1-1 tie. 
in this non-conference match at McAllen Field. It ends a consecutive result streak that Carson Newman had failed to have this year. It's the first time Carson Newman will have consecutive results in a match this year. Back-to-back -back ties. Draw with Catawba on Saturday. Eagles do it again with a 1-1 tie with the Lee Flames. Second year in a row these two teams play to a tie. This year it comes in Jefferson City. Goal by Ryan Schutte in the third minute. Got the Flames on the board. Ridian Williams found Harry Whitehead in the 28th minute to level the match. The two teams combined for nine more shots on goal. But ultimately, it's the Lee Flames and the Carson Newman Eagles playing to a 1-1 tie on this Monday night in mid-October. Thanks for tuning in throughout today's broadcast here on the Eagles Sports Network for our entire crew. I'm Andrew Rogers signing off here on the Eagles Sports Network. We'll talk to you tomorrow. It's volleyball action inside Holt Fieldhouse starting at 6 p.m.